backwards though. It's backwards? Yes. My apologies. I'm going to lightly just very carefully move this here. Okay. Okay, there we go. All right. Nice and neat there so that way you guys can see what we're doing here. Straightly. Yeah, straightly. Oh, there you go. Okay, there's a few ones. All right. Okay. So she said waving. Waving. She okay. She said yes, no. Yes, no. Miss Nelly said not yet. Miss Nelly said, oh, there we are. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, very good. Sorry about that. You That's thought we were all, all good to go. It's okay, bud. Accidents happen. It's no big deal. No big deal. It's one more thing we know to look for next time or, you know, whatnot. It's never happened to us before. So, hey, no big deal. Again, we're going to um, make a fun little shaker card tonight, but we're doing a little bit of, uh, of an upcycle, um, upcycle shaker card. I don't have any, like, um, any of the... Yeah, go ahead. Miss Nelly said it happens. No biggie. <laughs> Thank you, lady. Thank you for understanding. Going live, right? I mean, there's bound to be an accident or two here. Thank you for joining us, everybody, by the way. Thank you for joining. Sugar, it's very good to see you tonight. Thank you. I know you're tired. You've been working all day. It's late over there. It's very late. 12, 13 hour, diff, 12, yeah, something. You live on the other side of the world? Yeah. Where should you live? Um, I know. I do. I know. Why are you asking me this question right now on this That's spot? It's very bad. Am I too loud? Uh, no, it's not you. It's the internet. I turned it up too much. Oh, okay. We get that fixed. All right. Sugar, if you're there, let us. I, I, <laughs> um, my son asked a good question. Where you? You. Thirteen hours. I'm from Malaysia. Okay. That's yeah. That's what it was. <laughs> that's. It's like I know what it is. It's just it's on the spot. I'm like ah, I can't remember. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Exactly. So she's. It's a totally different time over there it's yeah she's up very late thank you for for coming by though we're making the shaker card like i said let me get to the point we are doing a bit of an up cycle this is a bit of a um it's not a perfect circle i mean i just cu i cut it myself but it is going to be the backing for the shaker card so it's going to go back there to hold in the elements tonight and the elements are going to be some of the um uh charms from the herbarium collection as you can see, I've taken I've taken some of them off, but these are the beautiful charms available in that collection that we'll be using as elements in the shaker. Um, so tonight it's an upcycle shaker. I use look here, it's, it's from it's packaging actually from a um, an album that I had a, re a recycled. Well, not even recycled. I bought it at a thrift store. So as you can see. Here is the plastic packaging. I'm just going to lay it over the project. This is the plastic packaging where I cut out my circles. I just, I literally just cut out some plastic to put in between here. And I will say about the snip art chipboard, it is very delicate. Um, I, I tried to be very delicate when even handling it, um, but it's still just, you, you I, I'm just going to give you a tip. Be careful with this chipboard. You cannot do much with it. You, you do something to it, and then that's it. Don't don't try to play with this stuff too much because I already, um, if you can see on the camera, I'm not sure, there are a couple of tears here and there where I was literally just, you know, moving it, and it started tearing apart. So just be careful. Just a little tidbit there. Awesome. Upcycling. Love it, gal. Yeah, absolutely. Upcycle whenever I can. And remember on one of my last videos, I was telling you guys about um telling you guys about the shakers and to save the um edges from your EK success um pop foam dots or whatever you want to call these things. I used I also kind of upcycled that and I used that on the back here. As you can see, I put it on the back I just kind of in a circle there to go you know to kind of go around and close in the elements that are going to be here so they don't you know fall out or anything like that so yeah there's another little upcycle feature to that to this card too but the rest of it is um is new but here are a couple of example circles I cut out the where, where I mean I bought it at the, at the thrift store so I wanted you to be able to see that it is just 
clear packaging. So yeah, just, just FYI ladies. Yeah. So definitely any questions or anything out there? I literally just cut those out. They're just plain old circles. I didn't, you know, use a fancy machine or anything. I just use my hands and scissors. That's it. That's simple. So how's everyone doing tonight, by the way? Ms. Nelly said, just share your stream around. Now I'm back, Lol. Well, thank you. Thank you, Nelly. Thank yeah. you so much, lady. How's everyone doing? You guys doing okay? I know Sugar is tired. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and just, um, yeah, take that off and start putting some of the shaker elements in here so we're not bored. But please talk to me. I want to talk to you guys. How's everybody doing? Work Has work been okay? Been, you know, been extra stressful this week? Or I know, Nelly, you've been um, hurting this week. Nelly said, don't, I don't ever throw away packaging. That's okay. Oh, good. Good. You're a smart lady for not doing that. That's for sure. I think I'm just going to leave these as the elements inside. I don't think I'm going to add any glitter or anything like that to, to it. Normally I would add some kind of glitter or something, but I think the paper here <clears throat> from craft consortium is perfect. And it doesn't, um, it, it doesn't flake off or shed or shred or, you know, shred or anything like that. You can put this stuff through, um, through oh. your um, Sizzix machine all day long. Shannon said, I'm late. Sorry. Hey, Shannon. It's okay. Thanks for coming. It's good to see you, lady. I know you've been busy today doing a bunch hey, of stuff. Hey, please don't interrupt me anytime, buddy. Okay. <clears throat> I thought you were. I thought you just said please don't interrupt me. Like, oh no 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 no! Please interrupt me anytime. I need to know what they're saying to me. It's yeah, okay. that's Ms. important. Says, hey. Hey, Shannon. Miss Natasha said hi. Sorry, I'm late. Natasha, hey, what's up, lady? It's good to have you back again. I got Miss Natasha in the house, and I got sugar. What? I just got all kinds of love in here tonight. I know I'm kind of sounding a little ghetto there. What? I'm just feel. I'm just so excited and so blessed. Thank you so much, ladies, for being here. What? What? High five. Boop. I know I'm lame. I'm lame, but hey, that's that's me. <laughs> But this is the general um for the newcomers. This is a shaker card. Oh, see, oh, I told you this chipboard is delicate. This this right here just proves to you right here. I didn't do much to it. I was literally just kind of shaking it in my hand. Yes, it does. I know you've been having a, a um a rough week. I know you have. But see, we can get we can either get rid of that or we can just kind of glue it back on later when we oh. it's just a little mishap of being live. I told you guys. Go ahead. Nelly said, "I love those bits as the shaker element." I know, aren't those cool? I think it kind of and it definitely adds some weight to it too. It makes it heavier. It kind of makes it a little bit richer. You think? Good. Awesome. Awesome. Hello, hello. How are my how are my newcomers doing? As um as always, we have um Caden here with us tonight. Hello. And say hi, Caden. Hello. Hello. I know we kind of skipped some of our, our our beginning stuff because we got a little um flustered with the camera being black there at the at the beginning. So we kind of skipped a couple of our normal uh happenings. Go ahead. Miss Sugar said, "Just glue it back. It happens with those delicate patterns." It does. I, I'm, I'm, I'm figuring that. I, and, and then w w with the snip art, especially I've worked with, um, I have recently had the honor of working with some dusty attic chipboard, um, creative embellishments. Um, go ahead. Miss Natasha said, yeah, the dynamic mom and son duo are back. Yes. Every <laughs> night or every Wednesday night, not every night. That'd be crazy sauce. Every Wednesday night. Yes, we're we're kind of making a tradition of it now. I think it's it's definitely become a tradition. This is our fifth fifth week. I think week? It's our fourth. Fourth week is probably is our fourth week. It is. I believe it is our fourth week. So we're at our official month mark of four Wednesdays in a row now. Oh, High five, buddy. Oh goodness. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yes. Michigan says. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> love it see this is a part of being being here and being live is we can talk and we can have fun and we can bring out our characters and our silliness and please be silly and be fun and and let's just yeah be fun together and yeah please bring out your character and and who you you know who you are here this is this is what makes th these live streams very unique 
mission is a little bit. <laughs> of course. Very unique. Very Who unique. Who doesn't? <laughs> so I guess we're kind of ready here. Um, yeah, the newcomers for the shaker. I did do an upcycle a little bit on the shaker. The um, plastic here is from from packaging. From yeah, I just I just cut out some packaging as you can see here for a circle to to cover it so that way my shaker elements wouldn't won't fall out. <laughs> so there's that upcycle and we'll just glue that back on. So I'm gonna go ahead and take everything off here. Nothing is attached, so we're just gonna move everything. These are the paper elements. Um, this is just regular white paper, um, spectrum nor the, 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 the white just watercolor paper. So, and then this is going to be the backing. I'm going to use some double-sided tape here, like normal. Normal, we usually, usually use our double-sided tape. Any conversation going on, buddy? There is not. Okay, just making sure. Don't want to ignore anybody. We're using our double-sided tape. I you. You what? <laughs> no, I had not some Yas. Yas. So what's everyone been um been up to lately? I am almost done with my cement. I literally have one. Ooh. Go ahead. Miss Shannon used I used tri no Miss Shannon. Miss Shannon said I use triple sided tape. Triple sided tape. <laughs> That's a new thing. I need some triple sided tape. Let me have it. Actually, a thing. I know, right? I don't know. I shouldn't be. Miss Nelly said, I love it when he says it. It makes me smile so big. Miss Anna <laughs> said, uh, laughy cry face, laughy cry face, laughy cry face. Laughy cry face. I love your, uh, your description, son. <laughs> They're amazing. <laughs> okay. I am almost done with my, um, s semester this, um, this Yes, I'm almost done with all my work for this semester. I literally have one project left, and it's a PowerPoint. And I started on it today, and then I'll be done for the semester, and I'm super excited. I did get a grade back for my final research um, essay paper today, and I got a 100% on it. I was just like, I was so floored. I was like, what? I got a hundred percent on my research paper. My research paper is on perception <clears throat> and it's on perception to aging specifically. My specialization in college is, go ahead, buddy. I bet you were just about to say it. Miss Natasha said, yeah, that's awesome, Jeff or Jessica. What are you studying? Yes. Miss Shanna said, you go girl. Mm -hmm. I am... I am a, my official degree is of advanced allied health with Eastern Florida State College with a specialization in geriatric counseling. That's so awesome. Thank you. I, I just want to help, you know, and, and I originally when I started going to college, I wanted to work with at risk children. I personally was an at risk child. <clears throat> In turn, is, is you know is what um, inspired me to want to work. Hey, what's up, little man? Nothing. And say hi to everyone. Hello. Hello, hello. That's the nine-year-old Mr. Danner. Itty bitty boy. Itty bitty boy. He's our soccer star. He plays soccer. Really good at soccer too. He um, last season he was beating twelve-year-olds on the soccer field. Just you know, just a. Yeah, he was schooling them. So yeah, that's the uh, soccer is one of his things. He's 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 on the smaller side of kid too. So I think that um plays in his favor. He's fast on the field and he's very fierce and he's not afraid to get in there and get the ball. He's not afraid to attack it. So and that's really important. Footwork and I keep telling him footwork, footwork, footwork. It's like you want to make that ball yours, you know. So anyway. <laughs> But yes, college, at-risk children. Um, once I actually got um, me deep into that, I realized I would not be able to separate myself for, oh, snapples. I would not be able to separate myself from my job on a daily basis because <clears throat> my care level, it, it's just... It, it's too high. It's too intense. I, I, I wouldn't be able to 
come home and, and be at home. I would end up bringing work home. And, and I can't, and I, I realize I can't do that. I just, it's, it's not healthy to do that for anybody. So that's why I decided I would go into geriatric counseling because at least I'm still helping someone. And I, I know I realize that they're not that don't get me wrong. Not that they're oh, Miss Anderson. I get that. That would be hard. Yeah, it, it it would be it would be really hard. Like going home and knowing that knowing that I couldn't help somebody that needed help that day, it would tear me apart. It would literally just rip me to pieces. So I can't I decided not to work with children. Um I yeah. <laughs> can't I can't I can't do that. So I, but I know with, you know, at least I can help them. I can maybe, I can encourage them, you know, to want to have a, a, you know, a more positive mind frame towards life because I, I will tell you now after my, um, you know, after my education, this is what I focused on my whole education or, or my, my whole bachelor's degree. Let me rephrase that. My whole bachelor's degree has been focused on perception and how perception, it true, how it affects every, you know, your, your daily life, oh. every aspect. Go ahead, buddy. Miss Nicole said, hello. Hey, Nicole, what's up? What? We got Nicole in the house. What's up, ladies? What, what? We were just, well, I guess not, I guess not we, I guess it's me kind of talking, huh? Speak up, ladies, talk. Tell me, you know, if you want me to shut up, be like, change the subject, Jess, you're being depressing or something. I'm not, I'm not trying to be depressing. Don't get me wrong. I'm at, trying to be positive here. <laughs> but um, please, yeah, you know, chime in, let me know, or if you have any questions or anything. But yeah, perception I, I have found um, is very important um, in daily life. Miss Nicole said, whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. I think we're going to go ahead and attach this too. Might as well, right? We're going to use some tacky glue again tonight. <laughs> Miss Shannon said, hey, Nicole, now it's a party. It's a party in the house. Now said, hey, Nicole. Hey, girl. Hey. We're going to put this down here. Right, we kind of want it overlapping just a little bit, but be mindful that we still have this piece here. We can still go ahead and attach here. We talked about how you know earlier about how um, uh, fragile th these um, intricate chipboards are. Ms. So, said, hey Shannon, hi Natalie. Oh, Miss Sugar said, I'm amazed how much you can multitask. I love listening to your story. Oh, thanks, Sugar. Thanks. I, but I do. I, I, I have, just thinking that too. I have a very positive, I college in my, my education to, okay. My inspiration. Okay. Let me just start Ms. with, Nicole. go ahead. Miss Nicole said I'm creating along with you. Oh, yay. Good. Good. Please everyone create with me. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It's awesome. Or get a glass of wine, have a margarita, whatever your taste is. You know, I'm more a um, bourbon, scotch, whiskey kind of gal. But, you know, whatever you need. I do like margaritas. Don't, don't get me wrong. Yeah. Miss Shannon said this. F-R-A-G-E-E-A-O-A. Fragile. For. Fra F R A G. Frog. I'm probably like killing what she just. I'm said. not sure. I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not getting that one either. Maybe she will explain. She will explain. Free jelly. <laughs> Free jelly. No, I'm joking. Oh, okay. <clears throat> He's being silly. Anyways, but yes, um, um perceptions. Yeah, I'm learning. Ladies, everybody, anybody who watches this video, perception is a big key to life. I'm realizing um, oh. to the to the success. Miss Nelly said, "Lowell Shannon from a Christmas story." Miss Natasha also, also said, "I'm creating with you too." Oh, awesome! You're creating a card too! Everyone's Yay! Yay! Awesome! That makes me feel really good, oh. guys. Makes me feel really good. Miss <clears throat> Shannon said, "You said the chipboard was fragile." 
Yes, the chipboard is fragile. Fragile, fragile, fragile. Fragile. Oh, okay. 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 She was going do, playing off words. That's what she was doing. Now I get it. We are in understanding now. So I thought about adding a little bit of um, recycled uh, burlap. This is what this is. Oh, I was like, I had to think about it. I'm like, what is this stuff? Oh, goodness. What, buddy? There's seven people watching. Oh, yay. Hello, everybody. If I haven't said hi to somebody, just shout out and be like, hey, what's up? And we'll be like, hello. I know I'm silly, guys. I'm silly, but I don't, I, life's too short to be all serious. And... Miss Shannon was typing out in the comments, like, one at a time. The first comment said, F-R-A, fra, or fra, or whatever. The second one said, G, and the last one said, lay. But in between Fragile. Day, Miss Nelly said, I just jumped in my studio too. I have no idea what I'm gonna work on. But I'm, <laughs> but I'm here. Yay, let's work together. Work together. See, I thought about adding some burlap. I mean I like it in some of these areas, but in other areas I kinda don't like it. Oh, um, okay. Miss Nicole said I've been working on an altered book all day. Really? And Miss Miss Shannon said, Haven't you seen a Christmas story? Christmas story. Is that is that a new one? I don't know. Is that I the new that Christmas Brad story? Carol, another Christmas story. A Christmas story. Oh, Shan or not Miss Shannon. Miss uh, Sugar said burlap is nice. You can add thin strings as well. Yeah, I was thinking maybe I maybe they're too thick. Do you guys think the the strings themselves are a little too thick? Maybe they might be. Maybe cut it in half. What do you guys think? Is a Christmas story an old movie or a new one? See, that's that's a good question. I'm not sure. I I want to say there's a new version of a Christmas story, but I could be mixing it up with a Christmas Carol, though. I, <laughs> Miss, Miss Chan said, no, it's old. Okay, it's old. Okay. All right. I don't think so. That looks good. What do you think? A little, maybe it does need it to be a little thinner. Maybe the thickness is not working with it. But yeah, so we just kind of play with it and figure it out. You know, originally when I got these burlap straps out, I originally was going to fold them in half. Miss Nicole said, thanks, Millie. I'm loving the way it looks so far. Oh, they're uh, the... They're sharing... The book. Oh, okay. Oh, before she that, shared Nelly, a picture of it. Miss Nelly said, Nicole, I bet it's going to be awesome. <laughs> I bet it will be. I'm, I'm actually and working on a book, too. Miss Sugar said, dinner is nice. Okay, Th thinner is not yeah. It looks a little more delicate, right? Uh, yeah, you're right. It, it does. It looks better. Thank you, Sugar. Thank you, Shannon. Thank you for the suggestions. I think they look better too. Thinner. I think m look much better. Miss mm. Shannon said, "Ooh, I like them folded." Yeah. See, I originally that's what originally what I was gonna do was fold them, but then I laid them flat right there, thinking maybe that would work, but obviously does not work. We found that out. All right, so there's five straps. Uh, Miss Nelly said the Christmas movie where the boy sticks his tongue to the pole and it freezes there and the brother asks for a Red Ryder BB gun for Christmas and everyone tells him, you sh you'll shoot your eye out. Oh, yes. Okay, I remember that. I remember the tongue. I remember, I actually, I can vividly remember that. Isn't he sitting on a, like, um, um, a, a ski chair like isn't he sitting in like a ski chair and he licks the pole to the ski chair or something and he gets stuck the ski lift? yeah the ski lift that's it you got it i think or is, or is that a different maybe that I'm could be a, on the wrong one am i i don't know oh <laughs> quiet you yeah i don't know if you have you I'll might not have now. you might not have if it's an old movie, it'll definitely I think I need to add some tape to the back of that because it's not attached very well. Old movies, old movies are good movies. The old, the classic ones do tend to be the best, don't they? Yeah. They always, they always are the best. I've come to find that myself. The new movies just don't. They're just, they just don't do it, do them justice. I think we can add some cards or whatnot. Oh, Snapples! I think I just. Um, 
moved my thing a little bit here. I did move my thing. I moved it. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. There's two comments. Okay. Go ahead. Shana said, I love your laugh, Jess. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> there it is. And Miss Nelly said, the dad gets the light lamp in the mail and on the delivery crate it's a fragile and the dad read, reads it as fragile. It must be French. <laughs> fragile must be. Hey, hey, okay, okay, yes, yes, we're getting it now. We're getting it. Uh, I want totally to getting it now. We're totally getting it. Okay, gotcha. All right, let's go ahead and start attaching some flowers here, I'm thinking. I think it's flower time. Flower time. What do you guys think? I think it's flower time. Flower time. Flower, flower time. I don't think it's good enough for flower time. Yeah. Be nice. I know, I know. All right, we're just going to put that big old flower right there. I use tacky glue right now. I'm going to try Fabri-Tac next time I go get some um, glue. I'm going to try some of that Fabri-Tac I've been hearing awesome stuff about. Oh, my incident with the gesso. That's a good um, good one, guys. Oh, wait, one more thing. Go ahead. Uh, Ms. I mean, said, are the metal shaker bits going to make the front of the car too heavy? Oh. Miss Shannon says, oh, that only took 30 minutes for you to get my joke. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, well, of course the flowers aren't glued quite down yet, but I'm kind of trying to show you the the front of the car. Here, okay, I'll show you later. But no, I don't think it will. I think it'll be okay. I think it'll be okay. The flowers just aren't quite glued down yet. I'm okay. being a bit hasty. Miss Nelly says, ah, at Shannon Holy. <laughs> okay. laughing at her all right about the gesso yes have you guys ever experienced um gesso growing things <laughs> what an interesting way to start a story i i'm just saying and, and i'm going to be specific it's mold have you ever experienced Gesso molding on you. That's Just curious. Way to put it. Just curious. Molding on you. Well, it's not. It's I physically know. molding on you, but. I'm going to put you guys in time out. Oh, Miss Nelly said gesso. No, I've had wax grow mold though. Well, funny story. <laughs> Interesting story. One day, I was painting, I was doing some splattering, actually, to be more specific. I was splatter. I believe I was splattering a project, and I didn't quite have enough gesso. Oh, sorry. Miss Nicole said, yes, I buy huge tubs in the top layer has before. Okay, see, okay, that's exactly what I'm... Miss Shanna said, not gesso. Wax, yes. Okay. Now, the gesso, I'm cute. Did you ever put a paintbrush in it? Because that's what I did, and I assumed that's exactly what um, is what happened. I was already using the white gesso, and I assumed since the white gesso was already there, I could just literally just dip the paintbrush in back into the bucket, the full bucket of gesso, and no problem, right? Well, right? I I would I would think. <laughs> just saying. Uh -huh. I. I so I, I don't know. I, I'm not entirely sure as I, I don't. That's what happened to me. It, it literally the whole bucket. And then the the bucket I had, um, the bucket I had in a smaller glass jar that I had cleaned started growing more than just mold. Things that moved. <laughs> <clears throat> So just the other day, I had to throw out all of my gesso. So the only bit of gesso I have is literally in those um, small little, like, paint tubes from Finnebear. Miss Nicole said, I just scooped the top layer off. Weird. See, that's what I did, too, originally. But it's gotten... it. I just, I'm, I don't know. I just, I don't want to sell any projects with it. I don't know. Because the stuff that was, like I said, was in my glass jar the other day when I opened, it was moving. It, it I, I can't, I, I don't, 
I don't understand. I don't. So that's what I've decided. I don't know. I, I obviously I'm not the only one now, but I've decided I'm not going to buy gesso in bulk anymore. I'm only going to buy it like in those little squeeze tubes or the small, um, like eight ounce jars. Miss Nelly said, I thought my wax is good from either me using my fingers and the oil from my skin or from adding water to my waxes. Wigs. Huh. And see, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, yeah. I, I thought it was me putting the paintbrush in there, to be honest. I really did. I thought I messed it up. Did you guys put a paintbrush in there or did you, I don't, I don't know. I assumed that's what I did. I did like, wrong. Oh, well, I want to go check my two gallons of gesso now to see. <laughs> hey, interesting conversations, right? You never know what you're going to learn or find out. with. Friend. I'm going to take that out. That one doesn't work right. I don't like it. It's not working. Oh, that one's a little too thin. It broke apart. <clears throat> yes, it did. Oh, my gosh. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it that's the that's the that's the nice that's the thing about um yeah this stuff is it does fall apart. You gotta work with it quickly or don't work with it at all. And these tacky glue jars, gotta wait for them to. They do have the new ones now where they're like upside down and they have like a plastic lid, like but you know I. Miss Nicole Obviously, said, don't have the one. The waxes from Cinnabare look like they mold, but it's the layer separating, and it's perfectly normal. Yeah, now see the Cinnabare stuff. I had no problem with those little pieces of whatever little pieces of thing. Yeah, I had no problem with those. It's yeah. It was more the fact that it was moving. That's what my problem was. <laughs> that that was my problem. Is it was literally moving and it looked like maggots like but no 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 don't get me wrong they were big like maggots though they were tiny and believe me i looked and i looked at it just to make sure i was crazy i because i thought i was maybe crazy well, I that's mean, not gonna work there i mean i mean i am a little crazy i am getting a little funky with this placement though okay i think i like that now it's a little Okay, let's see. My mold never moves, said Miss Nicole Laffy. Uh, right face, Laffy, right face, Laffy, right face. Right face. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a good thing, because it really shouldn't. M I don't think it should. Miss Nelly said, maybe there is a parasite of sorts in the wood from the paintbrush, question mark. And Miss Nicole said, I would have thrown those out, too. Maybe there was a parasite. You could have been. Some about you being crazy remind me of um, my EOC today. Oh, you're <laughs> testing. I was uh, I was done, and I like quadruple checked my uh, work, so I went onto the notepad and started making like little journal entries. Oh, just to make sure. Uh, just, just for myself, because I was a bit bored, and it said, and it, a little bit later, it, I it, I realized it said it was being monitored, and I started typing out. Oh wait, hold on. Minute, oh, okay. Go ahead, buddy. You're right, good. There's three. Miss Nicole said, yeah, a parasite of some sort. Miss Nelly said, my waxes from Thinner Bear have grown mold and Viva Inca Golds. Miss Sugar said, I'm using Liquitex around a year. It's a squeeze bottle. And Miss Sugar said, also said, it's still okay. Okay. There you go. You got them all? You're good? You're good? All right, that's good. Uh, good tips. I don't. Yeah, maybe. Okay, maybe. Maybe I should keep it then, because I have it right next to the door, literally to throw it out on the next trash day. Because I was just like, oh my gosh, I just, oh, it just seemed so. I just, I don't know. I, I just didn't want to take any chances. I guess you could say. Oh yeah. That's pretty much what it comes down to. So my journal entries, I typed one out. I said, all right. I just realized it said it was being monitored. So I don't know if that means like it's monitored as I'm typing or only monitored when I'm saved. I don't know if I'm being par paranoid. Well, I'm always paranoid, but <laughs> well, being paranoid can be a good thing, though. I mean, we're not being really paranoid, though. No. But it's, you know what I'm saying? You know, there is a. Uh, Miss Nelly said, "Wow, I just whacked myself in the face with my cuddle bug." Oh, what is that? Don't do that. <laughs> what is that? Cuddle bug. It. 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 it is like an embossing machine, like the Sizzix I have. What's up? What are you laughing about? 
I'm in the cuddle box. Whack. How did you, by the way, how did you whack yourself in the head with that thing? Miss Sugar said, don't use your brushes directly into the jars. Now, see, that's exactly what I did. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sit here and like lie to you guys and be like, oh, no, I didn't do that. Yeah, I did. I totally did. I was being totally lazy and thinking I could get away with it. And guess what? Uh -uh, uh uh. No, you didn't. I could not get away with it. <laughs> Obviously. I thought. That's what that's what happens. I learned though. I learned a lesson. Miss Nelly described what happened. Yes. I forgot that it was sucked to my workstation. I tried to rip it up and punch myself in the face with it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so she put some force into it, and then it, oh, uh -huh. Michanna said, has anyone ever had a floater in their eye before? A floater, a what? A floater in their eye? Uh, Miss Nelly said, I have Shane. I have Shannon. Miss Shanna said, I keep seeing something out of my right eye, and it's driving me nuts. I can only see something out of my right eye. Hmm. I wasn't, I'm not sure, no. Mm -hmm. I think I know what they're talking about. Do you? Yeah. Well, tell me. Someone explain. Um, two more comments real quick. We're just adding some leaves, everybody. Miss Shannon said, does it go away, Nelly? Miss Nelly said, can you try rinsing it with some warm water? Maybe I'm not thinking of the same thing. Because it's like something in the back of your retina. that Or not in your retina. The close to your retina. And it's casting a shadow and you see it. Huh. The eye floater. Miss Shannon said, I can try. But I don't know if I'm thinking of the same thing as them. Uh, maybe not. I don't know, yeah, buddy. Yeah, cast a shadow on your retina, and that picks it up, and you can see it. Miss Nelly said, it could be an eyelash or a piece of dust. Hmm. Interesting. Huh. I don't know, guys. I haven't. I have not. Uh, Miss Shannon said, I... Oh, wait, two. <laughs> they came at the same time. Miss Nelly said, you should be able to flush it out or blank it out eventually. Miss Shannon said, I think it's a floater because it's been a, a few days now. Miss Shannon said, you're smart, Caden. <laughs> Caden is smart. Oh, yeah, this kid is terribly intelligent. I mean, ter I say terribly like, as a bad thing. No, I'm meaning as like, I mean, he comes home probably every day kind of re reminding me of, not. I was like, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, you're right. I'm like. I miss Marvin. You're making me think here, kid. You're I making me think. think <laughs> Man, I make myself think and I don't have to make you think. That's not Dude, fair. this is unacceptable. How often I mean, come on. <laughs> I I just did I just snort? Oh my gosh. I just totally snorted, didn't I? Don't tell anybody. <laughs> what do you think so far? I think it's actually coming together pretty well. I'm actually liking... Oh, no. Miss Sugar said, ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Miss Shannon said, snort. <laughs> Miss Nelly said, if it's, actual, if, if it's actual floaters, they do go away on their own, but could take sometimes months. Really? That long? <laughs> Miss Shannon uh, did an emoji of a pig. Oh, oink, oink. <laughs> oink, oink. Uh, uh. Honk, honk. Whoa. Anyways, I'm being... <laughs> I'm just attaching leaves, everyone. Just attaching these leaves. Honestly, I've had these leaves for a little... I can't remember where these leaves came from. Hmm. Obviously, you can see they're just in like a little um, cellophane package. They might be from... Hobby Lobby? I really don't know. I'm not sure. I, I wish I remembered. But, yeah, there they are. They're, they're there. Oh. What are you talking about? I'm being silly. Uh, we were talking about the um, leaves. Oh. oh, you're talking about, like, in, in chat. I'm sorry. What? Misunderstanding. You, you were asking about what we were talking about in chat? Oh, no, no, no. I was, talk I was talking about what you were talking about. But there oh. are a couple of things in chat. Ms. Yeah, Nelly go said, for I it. My eye doctor telling me that looking up and down helps work them out better than side to side. And Ms. Sugar said, down. loving the layout so far. It looks gorgeous. 
Thank you, sugar. Thank you. Looking very 3D, and honestly, this is not the image. I'm loving it so far. Thank you, ladies. Awesome. I'm glad you guys like it, because I, I, again, or my last video, I was pretty much prepared. This video, Miss uh, Shannon said, thanks, Nellie. I'll try that. Good. I guess I wouldn't. No, not really. So. Oh, Miss Tiffany said, hello, hello, smiley face. Hey, Miss Tiffany. I don't know. I don't like that there. I think it's too much right there. You're late. D who's saying that? Is I that did. Oh, you're saying that? That's <laughs> hilarious. Don't say that. Why she's fine. Yeah, she, I know you're joking. I know she knows she's Ms. Ms. You're Ms. joking. Shannon said, I don't like it. Yeah, I don't like it either. It's not, it's not, it was too much. Ms. I. Nicole said, hi, Tiffany. I might, cause oh, oh haha. Ha. Miss Shanna said, "I love it." Thank you. Miss Nellie said, "It's like collagen fibers that come together." Miss Tiffany said, "Ha ha." ha. So I might ba, not be ba, ba. Maybe not. Maybe not. We're just gonna leave that there, just hey, like that. Hey Tiffany. Ms. Hey Nellie girl. Said, hey. Yes. Say hello, everybody. I'm going to put these excess leaves away so we don't have those in our area kind of like, you know, messing okay. that up a little bit. We don't want to. I'm a little CDO, just by the way. Like, said, sorry. I am late. Oh, no, you're I fine. Oh, right? shoot a bug. I meant to put this behind there, guys. Oh, no. <laughs> oh my gosh. Are you going to take I, it all apart now? No, I can't take it all apart now. It's done now. Miss Tiffany said, I can't say it won't happen again. Yeah, no, I've no. Got an idea. Better late than never, right? Yes. Yeah. I've got an idea. Oh, Miss Nicole said hello, everybody. Smiley face. Okay, Miss Nicole has been here. Yes. She bamboozled me. <laughs> she bamboozled you. I guess I could do that and pretend like it was there. Nobody <laughs> nobody would know, right? Miss Nellie said, oh, welcome to the tardy crew. <laughs> Miss Nellie was tardy, too. Well, don't, feel so, thinking, don't feel bad. If you put it... Oh, oh, I forgot this is touch screen. Touch screen. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't mean to move it around. That won't happen again. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Bry Guy BTV. Don't know who that is. Bry Guy they, BTV. They said add the ribbon to both and make it look like it was under. That's literally what I was just about to say. Yep. Miss Nelly said, what if you just snipped a piece off and took it in the end? Literally everyone saying the same, same thing, thing. I was just about to say. Exactly. Miss Tiffany said, is your son going to help on Saturday? Am I? Yes, you are. I am. Yes, he is. Oh. He will be. Hey, this, it's, it's uh, Hollywood. Hollywood. Okay, that's who I thought it might have hey, been Hollywood. It is Hollywood. What's up, Hollywood? Hi, Hollywood. Welcome. Thank you for coming in tonight <laughs> and supporting me. Said, yes, you'll never know it's not a full piece of ribbon. No one will ever know because <laughs> we won't tell them, right? The secret is safe. Okay, thanks, guys. Miss Nelly said, everybody. Great minds think alike. Miss <laughs> Tiffany said, Woot, woot. Yeah, yeah. Woot, woot. Yeah. Really I love it. Really bad about what, buddy? You got Hollywood. Oh, it's okay. I figured that too. It was when you said Bright Eye. I was like, there's really, I don't think there's anyone else it really could have been. I had absolutely but Hollywood. no idea. No, I figured. Oh, wait. Miss Tiffany said, I know, and I am telling. <gasps> <gasps> Tiffany. It's supposed to be between us. Oh, wait, Miss Shannon said, except all of us will know. <laughs> except all of us will know. I'm telling mom. Oh, my gosh. Miss Nanny said, <laughs> Miss Shannon said, oh, Tiffany. Well, well, you're funny the way you just, you say the lol. I like oh. that, too. All right, so, yes, we're going to do that. Nobody will ever know. S see? stuck to my finger. I don't know why I'm whispering. Why are we whispering? Do you know why I'm whispering? Can anyone tell me why I'm whispering? Because I don't know why I'm whispering. I think it's silly. Anyways, we can be silly, right? It's a silly place here no. at this channel. At this channel. That's just the way it is. So put it there. And the, I don't think I even really need, I don't know where this is even going to go. Because yeah. you can't even see this um, 
I'm going to pull it upside down for you guys because you can't really even see where where the green paper is. See where it stops at the top there? Can't even see it down here. What? Hollywood said, because it's a secret. Because it's a secret. Yeah, like, he, what he's right. The live stream stays in the live stream. <laughs> Oh, exactly. Thank you, Nellie. It's like Vegas. It's like, exactly. See, this kid knows things. See, he knows, knows things. things. He knows things. Know he knows. Too. That's hilarious. I said he knows things. Like, knows. Anyways. How the turntables. Being silly. Being silly, guys. Being silly. Okay. All right. So, we also have some little extras that we like to use to... Um, embellish the cards because the this as well I mean this is only our fourth week but the composition here is really the easy quick part it's this part that's really going to be fun this is where it gets fun right here is where we start adding all of our little fun elements so that makes it um, more of a mixed media card that we love all right let's get some elements here I'm just take that off. Take this off. See, which one do you guys like best, actually? Because I don't think we need to use all of it now that I think. This one we used last week on the um, on the card last week. Do we th think maybe you should use this one? Because we do have this chipboard piece here live. So we do have that that we can put somewhere. We can put that like maybe right on top. Um, I did want to add that to the card. And I do have some little green little dots I wanted to add to each little corner. Stephanie says the glitter glass. The glitter glass. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking so too. I think so too because it'll go well with the gold and live right here. I think it'll go well in that. So I'm going to put that aside. And what about the green little beads? Do you think we should add some of these green little beads to things? Uh, uh, Hollywood subscribed. Yay! Thank you, Hollywood. Thank and, you. Uh, uh, my sugar said glitter. Glitter glass gives it flame. Okay. All right. Perfect. So that is a Thank you, Hollywood. unison kind of opinion there. Miss Nicole said, I love glitter, or glass glitter. Miss Tiffany said, I love micro beads. Miss Natasha said, sounds great. Yay. Oh God, my voice just did the big boom. Big crack. Yeah. Hey, sounds you're, great. you're, no. you're a growing boy. That's the way that is. That's where you're wrong. So, <laughs> that's where I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Mothers can never be wrong. Miss Natasha said, I have glitter glass from a long time ago, and it's sharp. I actually can't use it. <laughs> Holy moly, it's sharp? Well, well this stuff is kind of, I don't know. It's not super so sharp, but no, I guess it's not sharp. No, actually, it's not. Miss Nicole said, I like microbeads, too, but pros are my all-time fave. But, but, but what is her all-time fave? Pros. Oh, prills. Yes, I've been wanting to um have, th 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 that's actually w what these are. These are actually, it's they're prills. They say glass beads on it though, but when I go to look for them online, they're more labeled as prills. These are the tiny little beads. They're actually not, they don't have holes in them. They're literally tiny little balls. They're Tiny, tiny little green balls is what they are. Ha! <laughs> no puns, guys. No puns. All right, all right, all right. So, <laughs> we're going... It wasn't that funny. <laughs> <laughs> I just figured since Brian was there, that's why I kind of did it. Because we're, we're jokesters. Um, I In our first video, I said that um, I used to play video games before this. Used to play um, PUBG. First-person shooter game. And <laughs> um, and Brian was in our crew, and he's become a very close um, family friend of ours now. And we the jokes are just yeah. So that was kind of I guess guess for him. It's really what that was, really what that because was for. for else, you, know. you know, I mean not everybody. You know, not everyone enjoys those types of jokes. No. But I am 
I, I, I am who I am. I know some of you who do know me well, most of you who are here really, um, no, I'm, I am definitely a jokester and I definitely, um, uh, yeah, I play around a lot. Uh, Hollywood said, I know how to read the room though. I wouldn't lower the talk. But, but, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. So any, yep. Putting these little dots on, I know. Is it is it boring? Somebody say something. Am, am I boring you guys? I hope I'm not boring you guys. Oh, this should not be boring. Yes, I, I would normally say something like that. Right, I know exactly. It's that was kind of it was it was for you, bro. Everybody is creating with me to. Well, yes, I believe most everybody is creating with me tonight. Miss Millie said, "I got two boys. There's nothing that can throw me off." Though. Right, Ex that's the yeah exactly, exactly. I I am a boy. Huh. I'm a tomboy, personally. I get along with the men just as well as, yeah. I, yeah, so I'm, yeah, no big deal. I just wanted to put those green dots on there. And I like guess the live, should we put it on top of the flower there? I do kind of like, like it flower. there. It fills more space. Or should I put it there? I mean, he is right. Caden is right, guys. He, he's right. It does fill in the space. And it lets you see the and flower. That's where I had intentionally had it. When I was doing this layout, I intentionally did have it over here. So what do you think, guys? Do you think I should put it here? Keep it there? Miss, Miss Nelly said, my daughter is just as bad as the boys, too. See, oh yeah. Miss Nicole said, I have four boys. <gasps> four boys? That's a lot Holy. more than me. Yeah, I've only got, well, I live with three. My husband, you know, two boys. Said, I like it on the flower. Miss Nellie said, I love it in the corner. And Shanna said, it doesn't show up on the flower. Okay. Okay. Ha, three against one democracy rules. Then we're going to use a little <laughs> bit of tacky glue. And, and just very... Sugar said, yeah. All right. So, yeah, I guess we're go we're going to go with the corner. Keep it there. We're going to go with the corner. I mean, he, you, you, you're yeah, totally yeah. right, though. It does fill it in. It does kind of like darn. almost finish the card. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. In a sense, it Miss does. Stephanie said, darn. Uh -huh. I like it in both places. I, I do. I just kind of, I just went with the majority, honestly. I was just kind of. <laughs> Miss Shannon said, you lose, too. <laughs> you can't be <bend> these <laughs> I just went with the majority there. So, I mean, it does kind of finish the card, though. It, I mean, but I did like it here, too. I did. Should I put any dots right there? You think? No, that'll be too many. That'll be too many dots. Um, I thought about adding a little bit of wax to... Miss Nelly said, ha, ha, play nice girls. <laughs> Tiffany said, lol. <laughs> yes, please. Let's all play nice here. We are all girlfriends here. I just realized I have unlimited access to emojis and I'm not using them. What? <laughs> Ridiculous, child. Ridiculous. So, yeah, I'm just taking a little bit of the wax here, the Finnebear wax, and I'm just kind of going over areas here and there just to kind of highlight, um, you know, some of the edges of the flowers and stuff and some of the burlap and the leaves. The entire surface. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. I just realized I said everything that was on the card. <laughs> I was like, okay. Let's just say we're highlighting everything. At first, I read Nellie's comment as, haha, nice play girls. Nice. Being dyslexic oh. and everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's... <laughs> That's you. That would be me. All right. I am terribly dyslexic. I will be the first to tell you that. Though I try not to let it get too... I try not to let it get stuck in my head, though. Because that perception of... Like I was saying, when I'm, I've been in school and I've been learning about perception and I've been learning all this, this stuff. The Me telling myself that I'm dyslexic over and over again isn't going to make my dyslexia any easier if that makes sense does that make sense i might be talking crazy here it makes sense oh, to me Miss oh shoot a bug said, hey sweetie got, i gotta go I need to get a little sleep I need to work in six hours time i'll catch up with rest later love you love you th 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 thank you for coming in sugar i really appreciate you you stopping by that means a lot 
And we're getting there. We're just going to be adding a couple more things. You'll be able to finish it. Have a good night, love. I'm sharing this bitch. Bye, sugar. Bye. Oh, Miss Natasha said, I've never used wax on a card, on cards. What happens when you add it? Um, in my, in my experience so far, honestly, it dries just like paint. Just, just like paint. I haven't had any, any problems with it. It hasn't like rubbed off or anything, if you know what I mean. If, if that makes sense. Miss Nelly said, is it wrong that I, as, that as I'm die cutting my YUPPO, Yupo, Yupo papers <laughs> with, with pearl alcohol inks on them that I don't want to toss the scraps? It's all too pretty. No, that's not a bad thing. You don't have to toss the scraps. You use those on like some ATCs or some kind of, um, yeah, you can use those. There's plenty of, of things you can use those for, even just to add them um, as like little paper embellishments to the journal pages or something. Oh, okay. She was saying goodnight to her. Yeah. Will you get my... Um... Miss Shannon said, I keep my scraps from die cuts. I think they'd work well on an art journal page. Yes, exactly. Exactly. All right, what do you want me to get? M my mixed media oh, j um, Liquitex. It's, it's right over there with all the adhesives and stuff. That's the only thing I, I forgot this evening. Over here? Yeah, it, it's over there uh, underneath with all the other adhesives, buddy. So, but yeah, all right. So we're getting that. Also, that said something upstairs. I found it. <laughs> what, what do you mean he said something upstairs? I texted something upstairs. Okay, all right, you ready for this? Yes. Yas, queen. Yas. Yes. <laughs> Natalie said, I need more small dishes for storing mini scraps. <laughs> Yes, little tubs. I know exactly what you're talking about. Little tubs. Yep. Everyone's watching now. Stop running. No running in the house. What? What? All right, everybody. We're getting there. So we're, we're pretty good on our card now. See, we, we have most of our composition. Now we're just going through and adding... Um, these fun little details. This is exactly, yep, we're adding, going in and adding fun details. So I'm just taking some of this Liquitex matte, or like, yeah, Liquitex matte gel, and I'm just literally putting it in the jar to get a hold of, of some beads. And I'm going to make sure there's a little bit of glue adhesive left on the brush as to add it to the flower. So that way the, not all the adhesive is, is covered because I've made that mistake before, actually. The first time I ever used this, I made that mistake. Miss Tiffany said, be right back. I have to regulate on my son. He's supposed to be done playing video games, but he's still on. Uh-oh. I know how that is. Which Believe reminds me. me. Oh, yeah, right? Yes, our, my 12-year-old my regulates my 9-year-old on video games as well. So, yeah, you can go ahead and make sure he's... He's been a lot better about it lately. But, um, you know, uh, kids are always testing their limits. They're always seeing what they can get away with. And it's just, it's, yep. As you as parents, y'all know, y'all know, they're always testing their limits. They're always trying to see what they can get away with, little stinkers. But I guess it's a part of life, too, though. It's a part of growing up and learning and, you know, all that good stuff. So yeah, I'm just doing this over and over again, and like I said, leaving a little bit of, of it, adhesive, so that way it can, it'll stick. Because I have done it too much, to where I've had too many beads, and they have, they're just, they're not glued on that. enough. Not enough adhesive. Well, my son too, I just yelled up to him, and it's time to die in the game and shut it down. Oh, see? Oh, Miss Shannon left. She said, Jess, I'm sorry, but I'm going to go. Staring at the screen is bothering my eyes. Feel bad going about a gorgeous card. Aw, it's okay, Shannon. I'm sorry you're not feeling well. I hope you feel better. I'm sure I'll talk to you tomorrow. Have a good night, love. Hope you feel better. Gosh, that stinks. I know she wouldn't do that if she wasn't feeling, I mean, if she was feeling 
Yeah, that's, I hope, yeah, I hope she feels better. Also, Tanner's here. What's up, bud? Bedtime. Oh, is it 10 o'clock? Yeah. 10 o'clock on the door. He actually was watching TV, though. So. Oh, well, that's very good. Okay. <coughs> um, let's see. Michelle, say good night, Moochie face. Good night, love. I can Get some rest and I'll see you soon. Get some rest and we'll see you soon. Rest up action in Hollywood design. Squishy face. All right. Almost done adding these green beads, I'm thinking. Miss Tiffany said he was one minute over his time. Lol. Well, I normally don't let my kids have electronics during school week, but it is the end of the year and I'm ready for summer. <laughs> he also said bye, Sharon. Us, us too. Um, f for one episode, bud. That's it. I know someone that has uh, parents to do this. What? They they don't let their they don't let them on their electronics until the weekend. Until the weekend, which I think is honestly probably a good idea too, because then you're focused. You're more focused on school. You're not worried about trying to hurry up and get your homework done to get on your electronics. So there's that. That kind of I think it does help. I Why are think we it giving does help. Ideas? <laughs> stop this. Everybody, stop giving me ideas. These kids are not liking you guys right now. <laughs> no. Caden's actually a really good kid. He he hasn't ever been much for pushing the limits or um like if, if you yell at him once, he's like, Okay. He get like he gets it. He's just like, I, I don't want to be yelled at anymore. He's like he, he does not like being yelled at. So he will take strides at making sure he does the right thing or even and helping make sure Tanner does the right thing, honestly. Tanner, on the other hand. Tanner oh, will. Miss Nicole said, "BRB, I gotta take my bed." Okay, no problem, lady. Hey, Miss Millie said, "Ha ha, mom's club." Yeah, yeah, definitely. I like that idea, though. But I mean, honestly, at this point, I think my children have. Um, we have a a decent understanding of what is required and what we require them to do, and what is expected of them, and we've we've had these expectations their whole lives. They, you know, it's not something new. Miss Natasha said, we have a passcode on my sons and only we know the code. Huh. See? Yeah. It, it's important. You never know with people out there nowadays, guys. The passcode off on the weekends. There are so many... Just, unfortunately, there are so many weird people out there. And there's so many... It's, it, it's unfortunate that we can't, you know, even trust everyone in our own neighborhoods. You know, if you just look at it, it's crazy. You look it up, you'd be surprised how many, you know, child predators there are in your own neighborhood. It's, yeah, it's a little disturbing, actually. I did it a while back. I was a little disturbed, but I can't change it. I can't, you know, so I just do the best I can to protect to protect my children and make sure I, I, I watch out for them. The way you uh, worded that sentence made me, made me, uh, Made me imagine you be a child predator. <laughs> Thanks, Kaden. Um, now you just opened a few doors that's hard to shut. Shh. That's gonna come up, come up on your Twitter posts. Years <laughs> later. All right. Is that right? Right. Maybe. Hopefully not. We need to stop talking about it. Controversial joke of the night. Yeah. Controversial indeed. Okay. Now we're adding some of the gold flakes. The same techniques. Um, exactly the same. I'm going to kind of go in and add some gold in some other areas where we didn't add um, green. We're going to add gold. And I'm just going going across the or along the rim of this actually and using some of the excess that I that's kind of starting to gloop up here at the top and just get a hold of it and just start adding. Oh, Miss brushing it on like thanks yeah you like this that was you guys you guys picked it you were said gold flakes I know at least a few of you did yeah, for sure because we were talking about either the mica flakes or the gold flakes and I what, believe was that the last one? nope that was this one 
what we all yeah because I have the, the mica flakes right here the mica flakes are right here I remember asking what everyone preferred if they preferred the mica flakes oh. from the last episode from last week's live or if they preferred the gold flakes I don't think I remembered that and several people said gold so that's why we're doing gold yeah yeah <clears throat> any questions anyone let's let's or anything you want to talk about or chit chat about in specific tonight i know we do a lot of chit chatting sometimes some nights more so than others i know last week was a good chit chat week we had lots of good conversation last week so i know earlier i was telling you guys about my college and i was i'm literally have one assignment left and i've got a powerpoint and then i'm done for the semester so i'm really excited oh and while i'm on here too um there is a live event scrap your heart out is this saturday everyone and that um starts at 9 a.m pacific standard time this saturday um tiffany solario um put all this together for us so i am really really honored and excited to be a part of this event this saturday and i will be doing a steampunk a masculine steampunk scrapbook page um featuring the one and the only Caden Young his um school year his school year picture so I want to um yeah going to be doing that so that's that's going to be what's upcoming this Saturday by the way so I will be doing more than one live this week Ms. yes said, I love watching this as a mixed media artist and care maker Oh, care maker, card maker. I don't think I've ever mixed the two. No. Well, awesome. I, 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 I that's that's a compliment. I, yes, that's that's awesome. Thank you. I, I years ago, I think you were here for the first live stream. I started out scrapbooking, and, and scrapbooking just wasn't enough for me. It was never enough. I, I craved more. I wanted more than paper and stickers and. There was, there, there, I believe there was more to um, art than paper. You know, as far as, 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 as documenting our memories and our, I always felt like there was more to it than that. So, I, yeah. So finally I found Mixed Media about two, three years ago and started practicing and gathering materials like just random materials literally you can ask my husband and ask my family um the past couple years that's literally what i've i've pretty much been doing is gathering uh miss nicole said i need to read all about that still for this weekend oh yeah yes please do there is some there are giveaways going on um for that as well you can win some giveaways i have a blank page um Blank Page Muse is is sponsoring my live, so they will be doing a twenty dollar um, gift card. So you will, um, someone will be able to get a hold of some Blank Page Muse stamps. So I'm pretty excited about that. I do, I I do like their um red rubber stamps. I've it's yeah, there's some great detail in their stamps for sure. But tonight we are focusing on. Craft Consortium and Hackney and Company. But that's what will be going on this Saturday on the live. I'm really liking this so far. I think I'm about done with adding the gold. I don't think there's a whole lot left. What uh, is going on behind me? Said, although I've been making cards for a few years, I've been doing mixed media for about 10 years, so I'm still kind of new to the card game. <laughs> oh, huh. And see, yeah, the card game. I am. I. Do, I've never made cards before. I. I've. I, I really haven't. It's been my card friends, Natasha. Um, you're one of them that have it. That has inspired me to actually start making cards. I, I never really made cards before. Honestly, I've. You, you can ask my kids. I mean, they've really. Very few of their birthdays have they received a handmade card for me. I. I really. I just. Yeah. I, I've. Yeah, see, he's telling you right now. I, I just don't. Cards has not been, has never been a thing I, I've ever done. I, I've never really made cards. Not your biggest forte. No, I mean, it's not. Well, but. 
Right, I do. I'm starting to do well. And honestly, I think that goes all the way back to my back to my scrapbooking and not being satisfied with paper crafts. And I think finally now that I have um, a little, uh, uh, um, that I, what am I trying to say? Now that I have some mixed media goodies, I have things from all different. Uh, Miss Tiffany said I have dozens of cards and no one ever gets a handmade card. Lol. Miss Nicole said I have seriously made like five cards my whole life. See, yes, mixed us mixed media artists, we really don't like paper crafting. Isn't really something. Go ahead. Miss Melly said, "Dumb question: Are you working directly on top of the card base or on a card panel that you will attach to the base when you're done?" Oh, I'm working directly on the card base. M Miss Natasha said, "Oh, you're the best. That thank you. That means so much to me." Oh, you're welcome. Yes, you you've been one of my inspirations as far as like starting to make cards, and I and I have um my cardist friends like Natasha send me cards, and I I don't I don't. I don't have a card to send back and I feel really bad. So that's one of the reasons why I've started to really, you know, get into making cards. So that way I have. Mm -hmm. Miss Nicole said, Tiffany, your cards are always amazing. Oh yeah. Tiffany's card. Yeah. Especially that purple one you made here recently with the gold, um, the gold trimming. I know it was a paper. You said, I, I did watch that video. You said it was a paper and you like, and that's why the, the way you cut it that way. So you had the gold, um, trimming or, you know, the, the gold in there. I think it's foil or something foil that's in the paper. I think it's a gold foil or something that's in there. But, um, what was I saying like before that? I can't remember. Oh yeah. Card making cards, yes, making making cards, definitely. But that's why I start making cards is because I I need I needed to have some cards to send back to people. Even now, I'll, I'll be honest, I probably have about two, I don't know. All the cards you've seen me post online are the cards I've made, and that's what's in my stash. Tiffany said, "My mom gets so mad at me that she never gets a handmade card." Oh. See, yeah, my mom, mm -mm, no, I never, I, I, yeah, I didn't even send her handmade cards. She's been wanting me to make a scrapbook for her for, I can't tell you how long I still, I mean, I have made pages for her, don't get me wrong. She does have a full scrapbook, almost two. Oh, um, sorry. Miss mm -hmm. Nelly said, well, I was going to ask you, Tiff, if you were going to give your mom the card you just made. Miss Tiffany said, thank you, ladies. They are not mixed media cards like Jess's. But I do enjoy making them. Miss Natasha said, "Don't feel bad. Artist card, artist card, and it has a special place in my craft area. I meant I have your artist. Okay, there you go. Oh, okay. I think it, I think it's sent you an artist trading. Yeah, the the ATC card. Yeah, I was in the beginning. I started sending off ATC cards because I did have those, but they are nothing like the mixed media cards I make. They're nothing as." Uh, elegant and you know rich and full I guess as you could say as the mixed media cards here that I very much enjoy and I, I've actually really come to uh, I've become comfortable with paper I've never been more comfortable with paper in my life in my whole 18 years of crafting this year 2019 marks the first year I I'm starting to become comfortable with paper and, and layering now, making journals, on the other hand, and making, I, right now I'm trying to work on a, a like a recipe album for, for, for Craft Consortium, but I'm having trouble creating the pages. I've I got everything cut out. Everything's good. I've got all the pictures. I've got all my elements. But to actually make a page, like to make the recipe page and to, you know, for that, because I've it, because it's a ten-page recipe album. Therefore, twenty recipes, one you know, every other on each side of the page, and I'm having trouble creating the pages. And, and that's where I guess I've always, I, I what has always stopped me in paper crafts is I look at a blank piece of paper, guys. Let's see. Let me look at. A, let me get a blank piece of paper or something. Like I just, I look at like a blank piece of. Um, print paper. Let me get some print paper. Print paper here. And I'm just like, okay, cool. That's a beautiful piece of paper. I'm like, okay, well, what, what am I going to do with that? I just kind of look at it. For years, I've always just kind of been like, 
okay, what am I going to do with that? What, what, what do I do with that paper? Like, I've just, I've always been so lost with paper. And I'm finally, I don't know if it's confidence or if it's, uh, I finally have some things, you know, where I can kind of make some, not kind of, I can make mixed media cards now to where I'm getting more comfortable. I don't know. I'm just kind of talking to you guys. You can interrupt me or, you know, we can change the subject, anything. We're just kind of talking at this point now. What's up? Stop. You're silly. <laughs> he interrupted me right now. Uh, I think we are, d I guess I didn't really say that, did I? I think we are done with the card, though. This is pretty much, I think, it. We're obviously, like um, some of the other lives, some of you know, we kind of just have to wait for the um, Liquitex matte gel to dry. Once all that matte gel dries, it, it's clear. You'll never know that that was there. It, yeah, it, it looks a little lumpy now. It looks like it's going to, you know, dry like that. But believe me, it won't. It will dry clear. You'll never know that was there. It does take um, s s some of these, um, the thicker parts here. Those will sometimes take about up to an hour or so to dry. So you kind of got to give a little bit time before you can um, to take your photographs after making it. I learned that with the, with the last video, by the way, last week's video, I learned that I actually, I had to give um, the card an hour or two before I could actually start taking photos of it because some of it was still, was still wet. You could see the white and I didn't want that in the photograph. I didn't want people to think that that was, there was a, like white on the card. So um, we're not going to add splatters to this card. You know me, I always love to add splatters to pretty much everything. Um, right something's wrong but I think honestly these take place of the splatters I believe these here really help um, finish the card for me I have multiple times I've been doing a project and I was like oh something's not right something's wrong or something's missing and the second I just add some paint splatters to it I'm like oh my god it's perfect I love it it's done it's never, it's never good, I love it Thank you, Nelly. You like it? It looks good? All the little elements and stuff? I think it's gorgeous. Thank you, Tiffany. So someone, I can't remember if it was Sugar earlier or if it, or Natasha, or, no, I'm not sure who it was. Someone asked if the embellishments inside of this card were going to be too heavy for it to stand. So I wanted to show you once the flowers were kind of attached. I think I can find that. that it stands. It does stand. No problem. Was well, this before or after Miss Sugar went to sleep? It was before Sugar went to sleep. Okay. It was one of the, like, yeah, it wasn't one of the very first, it was the kind of in the middle. Was it before Talk of Boys? Yes, oh. I believe so. So, but yeah, so yeah, there it is. It stands up perfectly fine. I will be adding another, like a, a layer of paper to the back of the card because it is white currently, but I will be adding um, some white to it. Just, so, I'm sorry, I'm white. I was looking at white. I will be adding some paper to the back just to, but I mean, as you saw there, even without the paper on the back, it's still, it stands perfectly fine. As you can see, there's no problem. It doesn't you know, want to fall, but I like it just, just for, the, for, 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 for the thickness and for the sturdiness of it and the quality. Oh, Miss Nelly said perfect, by the way. Thank you, Nelly. Hey. It, it does. It, it came together pretty well. I was saying earlier, this is not the vision I had in my head. This at all, it, it really isn't. I had a different vision in my head altogether, but I'm really, really pleased with the way it came out instead in the live um, versus versus what I had in my head. I think that that's perfect. I really uh, do. Miss Tiffany said I have to get my kids to bed. It's always fun and you were so inspiring. Oh, thank you, Miss Tiffany. I look forward to Saturday, too. Yay. I'm super excited. Scrap your heart out of it. All right, lady. Have a good night. Sweet dreams. Well, no, you, you won't be going to bed. You, you're a night owl. My night, Tiffany. Miss Natasha said it's beautiful. Well, I'll probably see you on a little live chat later or something, maybe, Tiffany. Good night, love. I'll see you next time. <laughs> oh, it was Nellie. Huh? It took me so long to find that. Oh, it was Nellie who asked. Okay, it was Nellie. So, and Nellie is still here, I believe. And so, you're sitting here going towards the middle, and all I had to do was go up a little bit. Just a little so, yeah. So, there you can see all the little fun embellishments in there, and they shake. I hope I'm not making anybody dizzy or anything like that. 
It was? No. Holy moly. My bad, my bad. It was during our talk about the cards. So since we're on the... Um, they need to be in bed, Miss Tiffany said. It, the what? They the need kids? to be in bed. Yeah, they do. It's uh, Yeah, I'm sure. Will you get me the herbarium collection sitting over there on the, um, on the, on my, oh, yeah. And the glitter, and the glitter yeah. paper real quick. Look, over there, buddy. Right over there on that table. Oh, look at that. Yeah. I figured I'd show you all. I know I took a picture of everything and stuff, but, um, I figured I'd go ahead and take the time to sh show this off real quick. And what else did you want me to go in? That's it. That's it. Yeah. Just figured I'd take the time to do those. Oh, um, I can go oh. and just show you some of the smaller pieces. I'm sorry, I didn't read this. I have a life to my yet eight bowl. At eight? Uh, who, who said that? Tiffany. Sorry. So that's it was in... before they said they need to be in bed. Uh, see, she's three hours behind. It's about an hour. So that so she's about to go live. Okay, perfect. I'll be there. I'll be there, or we'll be square, right? Right. Here's just a little. Um, um, I wanted to show off some of the the other papers in the herbarium collection. So this is um wording. It's got the, um different words of different spices on there. Oh, and that's the back of it. All right. And these are some beautiful scissors. As you can see, they're kind of um they're embossed here. They are embossed, and then the back of that is some um, some spices. And then this is the paper that I used here on the back. You can see it kind of matches. You can see that's that paper there. And then here's this beautiful paper of, with the with the darker background. I like this paper. This is probably one of my favorites right here. But I think honestly, I think I'm partial to dark colors. So you know, there's that. And then here's this one. This is the same. It's just a, a lighter, um, it's just a gray background. That I figured that out. So um, there's a few more. Let's see. I think they're on the back side is what it is. Let's see. Do, do, do. Because I, like I said, I am making a that, mini album. That scissor paper, though. I know. The scissor paper is one of my favorites, I will say. And then here are the, the, the watering cans. The watering cans are adorable. I love these. And then of course, then of course, all the em embellishments go with everything. You know, they have the uh, right. The well, the charms. Technically, I guess they're technically charms, is what you call them. But I figured I'd show off. Um, go ahead and show off some of those papers. Um, just a sneak peek of a recipe album that is going to be upcoming. I am working on it. Nobody even knows what it looks like. Oh, I mean, they know what it looks like, but they don't know, you know, don't anything know else. <laughs> and then here is the, uh, I might as well just go ahead and sh show you the paper. Tonight, I used the light green um, No Shed glitter paper tonight. That's what I used. On um, the, the box that I made for Craft Consortium was the dark green. As you can see, there's only one sheet left of this dark green. I have used the heck out of this dark green. Um, and then here is the, the middle shade of green. I really like this for like grass. And like, and like I said, this stuff, you can emboss it, you can cut it, you can, it's not going to shed or, yeah, it's not, there's nothing, it's great glitter paper. I have never had glitter paper like this before. I'll tell you that. All the glitter paper in my stash sheds. Okay. Thank you for communicating, buddy. I do have some little spice cards I guess I've cut out here. Caden has to go to the bathroom real quick, so he said he might miss a couple of comments, just so everyone knows. I was just kind of going through that. I figured, why not, since we were um, working with the herbarium collection tonight, I'd go ahead and show it to you, show you what I've been, been working with all week. And that's that's what I have been working with all week, literally. I've been pumping out project after project. I just I really, really enjoy this collection. I think it's a beautiful collection. And, yep, I've just been having a lot of fun with it. I'm back. He's back. So I'm going to have a little little sip of coffee. You might want to. Everybody knows I love my coffee. I thought you said no. Glitter paper. No glitter paper what? No glitter paper. I don't get it. I said no glitter paper? No, 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 that's not, that's not. I can see your nose. 
Okay, read the comments. Oh, okay, yeah. now I got it. Yeah. <laughs> it took you a minute. It did take me a minute because I didn't read the I didn't read the whole comment. I just I, I, didn't. <laughs> I didn't follow instructions, guys. Can you believe it? I, simple instructions he gave me and I didn't follow. Gosh. <laughs> it's so much easier with my hands. I've had so much fun with you guys tonight. Are we still having fun? Do we still want to um, talk or, um, yeah, do we still want to talk or do we want to call it a night? How's everyone, how was everyone feeling about that? Obviously, Miss Tiffany's going to be going live here pretty soon. So I'm sure Nellie and I are going to want to pop by over there and say hi to her and, and support her here in a little bit too. Yes, Nellie said, I'm so glad he didn't say it. Oh, right, right. Everybody would have been later like, Oh, you can see my face? Uh-oh, okay. I guess I better stop. You probably see my big old nose. But I don't know, if, if some of you have seen um, my Facebook page, you've seen um, you've seen me. You, you know generally what I look like. I have a shaved, not a shaved head for the most, I have a crown, all that's all that a hair I have. I have a crown too. Okay, and, it's not a haircut. you know, I, yeah. I, most of you know what I look like. You know, I have a chest tattoo and all that good stuff. It's all, yeah. So, I'm not too worried. Hopefully, my nose isn't too witchy looking, though. <laughs> Watch out, everybody. No one's saying anything. I'm not saying anything. Oh, you're not saying anything. <laughs> Little Wicked Witch West over here. <laughs> what do I have on my agenda now? <laughs> All right. I'm going to oh, here, let's see, people have said some things. Oh, they need to be here. Miss Nellie said, I see you, girl. Miss Nicole said, I'll pop over there, too. What time is it? 10.30 here. Miss Nellie said, you are beautiful. Aw, thank you, Nellie. Thank you. Well, do we want to still talk? I mean, I could talk all night long, guys. I really could. I could talk all night long. I, I never really even finished my story about my college and, you know, how why I was inspired to do what I did and stuff either. Um, yeah, I just want to help somebody. I just want to help people. I just want to be a positive influence. That's really all it comes down to. If I do, if I am a positive influence just for one person in my life, I, I say I succeeded. Um, my mother and my mother-in-law both um, are my inspiration to seek the career I seek. My mother is, is, is a pessimist. She's not necessarily negative per se, um, but she is a pessimist. She will always see the negative before she sees the positive. Miss Nellie said, "Up to you. I'm still plugging away in my studio." Okay. Well, I'll talk. I'll I'll, I'll finish my um college story story and why I um wasn't uh it, well, am inspired to seek the the degree that I am. Anyways. Um, like I said, she's not a negative person. She's just pessimist. Always sees the negative before she sees the positive. Um, yeah, she's always she's kind of like always waiting for the for, for the shoe to drop. Whereas my mother-in-law tends, we her and I are a lot alike. It's actually kind of silly how how so much alike her and I are. Um, she is very negative. She it, it makes me laugh sometimes. And some of the things that she gets frustrated at, it's just like, really, you let that frustrate you right now? It's like, you don't even let that frustrate you. It's not worth it. It's not worth the um, annoyance, you know? And and honestly, I catch myself sometimes doing, getting annoyed at the, some of the same things. And I'm just like, ah, there I go. <laughs> you know, I can't do that. And that's what I'm learning in college is that our perceptions to everything affect everything. It's amazing how in unison our bodies are. Our, our bodies, our minds, our soul, like everything it, it all works in unison. So your perception to something can ultimately affect um, how you will react to it and how you it is amazing the research being done on it is still relatively new perception as a subject um is a, is still relatively new and has began to be um um studied in 
to 2010s. Let me just put it that way. It really has started about 2010 when um, researchers really started studying the effects of perception and the effects of perception can have on every aspect of your life. Like the simple thought of being annoyed at driving, for instance, like you hate driving. I'm not you, but I mean, somebody hates driving. Well, their perception to the hating driving, unfortunately, makes their time driving worse and even more, um, um, it, it can anger them even more. It can affect their life even more, their lives even more. So they hate driving. So they get out of the car, they go into work. Okay. They're already annoyed by being, having to drive to work because they hate driving. So they're already annoyed. So then they go into work and we all know work. There's people, there's situations you're going to be annoyed about. Unfortunately, you're already annoyed. So now you're annoyed even more because of this new situation that's at work. It bleeds into everything, guys. It's amazing how much in little perceptions, like I just wanted to say that little thing, how much that little tiny perception to something can affect everything, can affect your day at work, can affect that buddy at work, can affect that buddy's buddy day. It trickles. That sh trickles. I'm not going to say it, but it trickles and it, it's important to have a positive a mind frame. Even when times do get tough, don't get me wrong, even a positive mind frame isn't going to save you from everything, but it is going to make the hard things or the challenging parts of life easier. It, it just is. And scientifically, they're proving it. And in my studies, I'm proving it um, in college. I, that's literally my inspiration. That makes total sense. Right? It does. Doesn't it make sense? It's, it's crazy how much. I, and I, it was, it was mind blowing when I found that out in college. And that's why I just started just seeking it and digging and digging and digging and digging and digging. And that's what I've been doing for the past two years. My bachelor's degree is digging deeper and deeper and deeper into um, why people think the way they think and cognitively how and why they think that way. Is it because of this? Is it because of that? Scientifically, like I'm beginning to scratch down at the raw, I'm getting to the bottom of the barrel of like the raw facts, the cognitive functions and the cog, like why the cognitive function is, is impaired. And it's, oh my gosh, guys, I could go on for hours. Like I said, I, I just want everybody to know that spread positivity, like it's a m m wildfire. Okay. It make life, make your life easier on you, make your life easier on the people around you, make your life beautiful. No one can do that for you. No one can. Make sure you do it for you because you want to be. And it, it's it's so important. I'm learning it because of the aging process. All of us here are still in our middle age per se. We're I mean, not that we're in our 40s. Or, I'm, just, I'm just saying we're the ones who are here live right now. Anyway, we it's important, especially for us now, you know, that because we are going to be going through that aging process when we're in our sixties and our seventies and our eighties. And if we can educate ourselves now on what is going to happen later, yeah, our bodies are going to hurt. We're going to ache. Um, Nellie, you, you suffer from, you know, your illness. I don't want to say it online because I want to probably stutter it. Fibromyalgia. I did it without stuttering. There. Fibromyalgia. That is awful. And I can understand how that illness, and I'm learning about this, how your illness affects your perception to life and how daily life sometimes, I know today and you have, um, are, are harder than other days. And your perception is, is affected so much by that. I mean, not feeling good, not being able to want to, you know, get out of bed and do things that affects all your as aspects of life, your physical activity, your nutrition, all of those things are affected just by your simple, not that it's simple, but your feeling of not feeling well. Those are all affected by that. And when all those other things are affected, then other parts become, it's, it's, I know, right? I did. I did it without stuttering. I usually stutter at um, technical terms like that um, online and stuff. I'm, I'm bad. Um, but I did it. Yay! High five. I got a high five. High five. What? Yeah. Anyway.
anyways, <laughs> um, I, I'm going to finish off with that. I'm going to finish off with keep a mind, keep a positive. Go ahead. Miss Nelly said a positive attitude helps me, believe it or not. See, exactly. She can right there. She can attest for you that the positive mind frame and positive attitude, even in the face of frustration and anger, and it can help. It's not going to make it go away. I'm not saying that, guys. I'm not saying that a positive mind frame will make it go away. What I'm saying is that it'll help you. It'll help you. It'll make the make it easier. It makes it a little easier. It really does help. Having a negative mind frame to it only makes it harder. Only makes it harder, I promise you. I have literally watched a a family member just not literally beat their head against a wall, but um in a sense, in a figurative sense, beat their head against a wall. But they, they wouldn't learn. They wouldn't change their patterns. They wouldn't, you know, it's it's so sad. Miss Nicole said it's true. I have thyroid disease and it's mentally exhausting too. Yeah, m m my mom suffers from that. I remember when she first got that, it was, yeah, she went through a lot of changes. I remember and she, yes, I can, I can't empathize with you because I don't know what it is. Well, I mean, I know what it is. I just, I don't know what it feels like, but I, I, I have a loved one who has gone, you know, who has experienced it. So I know, and, and she has told me that I need to keep my eye out for that too, to make sure I don't, you know, it's like, Wah. so yeah, but anyways, um, I'm going to, Hey, what's up, buddy? You going to nights? Yeah. Are you done? Just bedtime. Mm -hmm. We're Not about yet. done. We're about to say our good night. We are. You want to say good night to everyone? Good night. Good night. good night. Yep. There's your hand. Yay. He said good night, everybody. Got to stay up a little late tonight because he got all A's on his report card. His um his interim report card. Sorry, I guess not the not the end of school year report card, but his interim. Miss Natasha said I couldn't agree more. Being positive helps and allows us to work through very difficult situations. It does. Absolutely. Th thank you for, for getting I know I kind of went on a um tangent kind of there. I just want everybody to know mm -hmm. how how important it really is. Go ahead, Miss Nelly. Say good night, buddy. Oh, good, good night, Tanner. Good She's saying good night. Say good night to Miss Nelly. Good night, Miss Nelly. <laughs> good job, buddy. Thank you. Miss Nicole said night too. Night, Nicole. <laughs> yep. Positive mind frames, everybody. Please. Um, I'm like I said, I'm learning. Keep up the positive mind frame. Spread positivity like it's a wildfire. Don't don't let negative people or negative perceptions or negative um, experiences get the best of you, um, because then in the in the end you're letting them win. Do you want to be the winner or do you want them to win? I know you want to be the winner. I love you guys. Thank you so much for coming in tonight, and thank you for your support and coming by. I will take a photo of this card and. Last week, I was trying something new, just putting up a small snippet photo of my card to see if I could, you know, see what kind of traffic I could get to my YouTube channel. But I decided I'm going to go ahead and put the full images of cards on all of the, on, on everything. So if you want, if anybody wants to see them, you know, where I make my cards, I make my cards on YouTube every Wednesday night here with me and Caden. All right. Maybe I'm going to say good night here, Caden. Good night. Good night, everybody. Oh, okay, sorry, Miss Nicole said, "Oh, he is precious." Miss Nelly said, "Love you, doll." Oh, I love you, ladies. Truly, thank you so much for all your support. Thank you for being here tonight. I we we look forward to seeing you again next Wednesday. We will be making sure this is a, a weekly thing. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. I can't. I seriously can't thank you enough for everything. Your love, support. Love you guys. Mwah. Smooches. Smooches. Oh. All right. Good night.